Hi, I'm Marva. Welcome to the Charles Fort Lauderdale Garden. In today's video, I will be giving you an update of the newly planted spring garden, as well as some recent happenings. So come with me, sit back, relax, and enjoy the developments in the garden. First, let's take a look at the string beans. They are also called green beans and snap beans. Green beans is one of the easiest vegetables to grow in your backyard. There are two types of green beans, pole beans and bush beans. These are bush beans. Do you remember these store-bought tomatoes called Adora? Well, they were so tasty, so I decided to plant the seeds, hoping that they would germinate. What do you think happened? Have you ever had Adora tomatoes? Here's what happened after 14 days. Very soon, they'll be ready to be transplanted into bigger pots. These sweet potato slips grew from leftovers of a previous crop. Now we will plant these slips in another bed. Sweet potato slips are the easiest crops to plant. Now take a look at the potted peppers and the cucumbers that were planted. When we planted this cucumber plant, there was only one blossom on the vine. Now there are many and four cucumbers.
Now for some bad news. This row of Swiss chard was eaten up by worms. That was because I failed to plant spring onions between them at the time of planting. By the time I remembered, the worms had already started in that row. Here is what they look like. Now I'm going to cut off these leaves and place them in the compost bin so as not to infect the rest of the garden. Those greens would have looked like these kales had I planted those green onions at the time of planting. Now I'm going to harvest the rest of the Swiss chard and make a meal out of them. Come with me to the kitchen as I prepare the Swiss chard.
Thank you for coming along and staying throughout the update. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you for continuing to be a supporter. I truly appreciate you. And if you have not yet subscribed, would you consider doing so? I would really love your support. Join me next time in the Charles Fort Lauderdale Garden and let's see what will happen next.